One of the most common changes to the setup we'll make in a race car is to adjust the camber. And we're constantly doing this in order to optimize the tire contact patch with the track. Essentially, the more tire we can get in contact with the track, the more grip we get, and the faster we can go. The problem is that on most production cars, anytime we adjust the camber, this also has the effect of adjusting the toe setting. And the toe, if we're looking vertically down on the car, is essentially whether the wheel is pointed straight ahead, slightly inwards towards the centre line of the car, which is toe in, or outwards away from the centre line of the car, which is toe out. What this means is any time we adjust the camber, we also then need to go ahead and readjust the toe to get it back where it's supposed to go. On most professional built racing cars, and particularly open wheel cars, the camber adjustment is done slightly differently. In this case on the Lotus that we're looking at here, it incorporates a billet upright and we can see that there is a stack of shims between the upright and the upper wishbone mount which also incorporates the steering arm mount. Because the steering arm and upper wishbone mount are independent of the actual upright, this means that we can adjust that stack of shims to adjust the camber setting and that will have no effect of the, on the toe, meaning we can make very fast and accurate adjustments to the camber without needing to perform Form a full alignment. If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.